a session of uh, pressure once again. We probably might start off uh, on a green note, but uh, the expectation really is that this is a market which is going to be seeing uh, a sell on most rallies. So that's uh, clearly what we will be seeing on the screen as well. A check on the currency markets and we are looking at a bit of a technical rebound as well uh, in the favor of the rupee. So some strength seen in the currency, in the local currency vis-a-vis -vis the dollar at 40.63. In terms of fund flow action, I remember, I remember yesterday we saw a lot of delivery uh, uh, positions being unwound, uh, not so much uh, being built on the futures and options side. So we did not see any fresh build-up of short positions, but really delivery-based selling. And uh, the FI reported figure came in as net sales of about $170 million. Back to you, Amanda. Well, Taiwanese head to the polls this Saturday. The Taiwan stock market has underperformed its regional peers almost every year since 1997. But this could be the year it breaks out. Since the legislative election on January the 12th, which saw the opposition KMT gain a majority, the Taiex has tacked on some 4%, a pretty impressive performance compared to the route that other markets are seeing. And there is more upside on the horizon with investors banking on the March 22nd election to be the catalyst for change. CBC's Emily Chan has the full report. Taiwan was once considered the region's economic miracle, thanks to its rapid growth in the later part of the 20th century. Economists called it one of the four Asian tigers alongside Singapore, South Korea and Hong Kong. But its economic edge has weakened in the past three decades. And there's been a feeling that Taiwan's been left behind by the rest of Asia the last few years. And now is its time to catch up. Taiwan's competitiveness has also been on the decline. According to the World Economic Forum's 2007 Global Competitiveness Report, Taiwan ranked fifth in Asia after Singapore, Japan, South Korea and Hong Kong. But to revive the Taiwanese economy, China remains a key factor. And while both candidates agree on closer ties with the mainland, they differ on the degree that Taiwan should open up. Both presidential candidates have made significant promises on improving relations with its largest trading partner, with the KMT's Ma ying Zhou perhaps seeming to want to take bigger steps. He's pledging regularly scheduled commercial flights and wants to scrap the 40% limit imposed on the amount of Taiwan company assets that can be invested in China. The DPP's Frank Xie, meanwhile, is only suggesting charter flights and will consider investment limits on a case-by-case -case basis. Taiwan clearly could do so much more if it would have direct links and allow easier visas for mainlanders to visit here, remove the investment restrictions. CLSA is optimistic that Taiwan will see a return to growth after years of domestic economic stagnation. Its capital links portfolio consists of stocks that CLSA thinks will benefit from stronger ties with China. Among them, Acer, Cathay Financial, Delta Electronics, TSMC and Honhai, just to name a few. And while a lot of money is on Ma winning the March 22nd election, analysts say even a share win would still be an improvement from the Chen administration and the start of a new economic chapter for Taiwan. Emily Chan, CNBC, Taipei. Well, China's National People's Congress comes to a close today after a two-week session. China's Premier Wen Xiaobao has already been speaking, saying in.